Hello everyone, Fixer here. I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks for Townscaper and show you how to uncover some of those hidden objects. This video is intended for those pretty new to the game, maybe seen some objects on videos or screenshots and wanna know how to uncover them. If you put any uh, decent amount of time into the game, this video is definitely not for you. Let's start with grass. You need an elevated place like this, completely enclosed and sealed off. Once you seal it off, you get your grass and all your bushes. The indented doors that you got back here, they're always going to have walls in front of them. I don't know of a way to avoid that. I don't think there is a way. Now, if you want the walls and bushes going throughout the field, place a few houses. And you'll see that they start spawning. Now, if you want the really long walls, I find that overhangs are usually the best way to do it. And they don't have to be attached to like a small house like this. You put it on the side of a big house you'll see that they'll spawn like that. And if you start adding in more buildings around there, it's going to change the walls a little bit in some places. And this goes on any level. If you can close like second story here, see how it's completely sealed off? You'll get grass in there too. Height doesn't matter. You'll get it anywhere. Let's talk about doors, how to get large doors. You notice these are the normal doors with the four windows, kind of small. This one's got six windows in this little half circle up here. You get that by putting an indentation in the wall. You do it too high and you're going to get the special window as well. You notice here I, I go back a little bit further and you don't get the special window. But sometimes you'll get the closed lines. The exterior dining table happens in indentations. I don't know the exact parameters for it to spawn, but it always seems to be an indentation. And you'll see sometimes it's got to be a little bit weird that will affect it sometimes that won't it seems random the surroundings i don't know exactly what is needed but you'll notice you'll lose it when you get the grass it's gone so that's how you get the dining room table oh and uh pigeons they need roofs to spawn now clotheslines seem to happen between buildings but they seem to happen more frequently if the space between the building is thin. So we got a one tile wide here. This is like a normal size tile. And, and I, it's it's uncommon to see clotheslines in there, but they do happen. I just feel like they're more frequent when the space is pretty thin like this. Stairs. You have to have one space between two buildings like this. You get this type of stair. Two spaces, we'll get two stairs like that. Three spaces, you're not gonna get any stairs whatsoever. Now, flag buntings will happen with the one space in between, and they're going to match the color of the buildings they connect to. So if you got two white buildings, you're going to get all white flags. Blue and green. Purple and uh, blue. Now, I got clotheslines in here as well, and you'll notice the difference. The flags are on, like, this hook, whereas the clotheslines are on, like, a ring, and they're going to be different sizes like that. And the buntings will happen between one tile and two tiles wide. I don't think I've seen any uh, with three tiles in between them. All right, moving on to hooks. Hooks have to be elevated like this in between two pieces of building. If I remove that, your hook is going to spawn. But if you start putting pieces around it, you'll see that it's going to disappear. Like that. Now, you are allowed to put a piece on one side of the same color. You'll notice if I put it over here... Just like that, it's not going to work. However, you put a different color here and it's going to remain. All right, that's about it for tips and tricks. There aren't too many in the game at this point. I'm hoping the developer adds a whole bunch though. They're pretty fun to find. And if you haven't already done so, check out my time-lapse videos. Link will be below and at the end of the video here where I spend an hour on a strange or interesting build and they compress it at four times speeds for your consumption. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.